Hello, in this quick video, we're going to show you how to schedule a report in advanced reporting in Clarity. So just access advanced reporting. You can either click on the icon to view a list of the reports, or you can search for the specific report you would like. Once it comes up, you can hover over the report, right click and select schedule. You can tell that there are no jobs scheduled for this report. So to create one, just click create schedule. Here's where you can put the start date, the end date, the reoccurrence type. So let's say we'll start tomorrow at 12 a.m. You can change the hour to whichever you want. To change the time zone. So let's say Eastern. And the reoccurrence type, you can have simple or calendar. So in the calendar, you can select every month, every day, or you can select specific months and specific days. We'll just go with simple. So here you can repeat every day, minute, hour, or weeks. We'll say let's do every two days. In the schedule end, you can set it to a number of times the, the report runs. You can set it to a specific date or to run indefinitely. We can say, let's run it for end of next month. After you're done with that, you can click on the parameters tab. This is where you see all the options that you have to include in your report. You can select whatever is required. We'll just select all. Then the output options. You can change the file name if you want, write a brief description, time zone, let's put it to Eastern, and then the format that you would want it. We're just going to leave it at P PDF. The output destination, you can leave it to the default or you can browse and change where you want the output to go. And then the notifications. Notifications is where the people who receive the report once it's ran. So you can put multiple email addresses in here. Write a subject and brief description. And then there's different options on how you want them to access the report as link, attachment, zip, etc. So let's just do the link. Once you're done with all of what you need, you can click save. Oh, subject. Once you click save, you can name the job. You can put a dis description if you want. Save, and then here's your schedule report. You can see the next run will be 826. So now, if you go look for your report in the list view, you can see a little clock at the side of it. That means there is a schedule. Click on that clock, it'll take you to the scheduled report. And that's all for now. Thank you.